this is Common Goblin Gaming. I'm Dr. Galaxy. And I'm Matt. And we're about to play some more Kentucky Route Zero. What if I accidentally hit clear and ruined all our whole, like, 30 minutes of progress? I would be Actually, so Actually, it's probably longer than that. Mad. So now we're... I would cry and throw a tantrum. Oh, dear. We're exploring... This is kind of scary. We found helmets. Yes. Safety first. Where? I thought it said helmets. Now, where, where am I? What's happening? I think maybe you're dude man again. Oh, wait. I see something now. But I'm not controlling that. Maybe it's just like a cutscene or something. She's like, yo, dog, check out these helmets. <laughs> hey, straight. Oh, you, yeah. oh, you want me to do the Shannon? Yeah. Hey, stranger. Uh, did you find what you was looking for? Yeah, maybe. Look, we're not going to talk about that anymore, okay? <laughs> Let's talk about what? We're not going to talk about it. I don't remember what happened the last time, really. I kind of forgot. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm just on edge. I'll be okay once I get away from this mine. I think it's supposed to be mysterious, like, you know. How's the leg? I can walk on it, but it's painful. <laughs> You're a little bitch is why. Oh, I got some painkillers here that could help you out. I got them from a friend when I sprayed my wrist installing a security system. You better let me drive, though. They're pretty strong. I can handle it. Yeah, you're a little bitch. You won't even walk on it. Yeah, right. You can handle it. Mm -hmm. Your decision. Sure. I still need to find the zero. Well, it's like I told you. Weaver doesn't lie. If she sent you here to find your on-ramp, this is where you should be looking. Or, maybe you just weren't listening closely enough, and that's not exactly what she said. I saw Weaver at my workshop. That's up north, by Lake Nolan. Lynn. I've been there, so I should know how to say that lake, but you know. <laughs> right at Wax and Peonia, in the back of a bait shop. Pretty glamorous, right? These are the times we live in. She's either up there, or back at the farmhouse, or somewhere else, or somewhere else, or somewhere else. Whichever you want to head to first, just let me know. Alright. <clears throat> Let's head to somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I think she wanted us to find Shannon to fix her TV, not find the on ramp. True. Oh. Well, it, it would be fun to get distracted, but I think we should just move on because I don't think there's much else to do. I think if we get distracted, it's just going to be. Repeating stuff or something? Yeah. Probably. Could be wrong, but. We could All be right. missing stuff, you know. What is this? That's the factory. Did we go to the factory? Yeah. Yes. Isn't that where we found Shannon? I want to say. No, we found her at the place we just left. Oh. You're right. Wait, let's see. I think it just says look at it. Like, what is that? L and it didn't do anything. It just kept it kept moving. Oh, it drove around. A creek runs alongside the highway, then turns towards a dirty brick building. A grinding drone from within the building is faintly audible from the interstate. Floodlights on the lawn illuminate smokestacks. At the edge of the building's parking lot, a large sign partially obscured by trees reads, A Mert to Fischl Limb Factory. Ah. Oh, I think that was just part of Oh, that of the, was like a, like a marker, like you gotta turn at the yeah. Limb Factory. Yes. Priceville Road? I don't... Where are we supposed to be going? We oh. can either go back to like her one place or she said, oh, she said Wax right. Road and Pinoyi. Oh, the bait shop. That's it. Aha. Uh -huh. I just want to go here so it's something new. Yeah. I could go back to the one place. Vaulted above the road on a thin steel bar, a handwritten sign reads, live, <laughs> live bait. <laughs> live bait. <laughs> Minnow small and also large for stripers, night crawlers, chips, and beard. A green flyer hangs loosely from a bit of masking tape at eye level. To 
through the shops right a dirt parking lot sprawls unevenly into grass and then eventually trees the bait shop is closed well shit it's closed let's go in <laughs> walk around the side of the building into the workshop the walls are lined with cheap metal shelves loaded precariously with vacuum tubes awkwardly shaped metal casings and coffee cans full of electronic components uh-huh. Shannon leads Con- Conway to the back of the to the back of the room where a few TV sets in various states of disassembly are set up on a rough wooden table. She flips the switch on the power strip they're all plugged into and the TV sets tremble to life. Let's just watch some TV. We don't care yeah. about them. A ghostly white wobble flickers along one screen in a rhythmic pattern. Another is just snow. A third, a small security monitor in the middle of the table and oscillate is oscillating between different shades of black. Oh. Time to go. I was playing. <laughs> <clears throat> Shannon put points to a small security monitor on the table. The image on the screen is just black, but it seems to be fade, fading slowly, almost imperceptibly, between different shades of black. Oh. <sighs> Shannon tweaks a few knobs on the side of the monitor, but the picture doesn't change. <gasps> Just stare at that monitor. This is so crazy. The cav- the screen is cavernous black. It hums and swells at the pace of the tide. Conway loses track of the workshop's walls. They could be inches away or miles. He's adrift on black water, traveling swiftly towards a rocky shore. There should be a lighthouse or a buoy by these rocks. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous. Shannon turned that shit off. <laughs> we were not, not here. here. Fuck this. All right, let's go. All right, all right. Oh, don't know how to drive. Nolan Dam Road. Damn. Anetta Road. Brownsville. Brownsville. Pig, Pig Road. road. <laughs> <laughs> Louisville oh, Road. I didn't know there was a little road. <laughs> Makes sense, but I didn't know that either. Hey, go in there. Glasgow Road. Oh, that's where we started. Where? Oh, she's up by like the burning tree. Okay, we're back on 65. I think that's her with like the house with the Z under it. Let's go. Yeah. Weaver. Weaver Marquez. Weaver Marquez. Uh oh, we're on uh, scene five. Three. Scene five. It said six, didn't it? Maybe it did. I was. Six. I was into saying five. <laughs> I said five. I can't really say like six. I mean, I guess you can. You just did. It doesn't have like a good ring to it. True. Five Oops, is I almost... better than six. There's more to do here because we. Yeah, yeah, I accidentally almost just like immediately left. <laughs> Come on, Shannon. Let's walk really freaking slowly. Shannon. Truck. Oh, yeah. I'm hurt. <laughs> this is entertaining to watch. Look at her run. Yes. Good for you. You can run, huh? This would take like 50 years to go up this hill. You ain't talked to that dog in a while. You right. Wonder he's talking. I mean, wonder what he, I don't know what I. I don't know. You don't know what Blue is talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh. What don't, happened? Uh oh. Am I okay? Oh, I think she's gonna help me. Your legs hurt. Shut up, Al. Listen. Okay, fine. I will. The graveyard. I can't really see where I'm at. Oh, there we are. Aha. This is very entertaining. Very. Let's go into the house. Hopefully Weaver's here. If not, it's going to take us another, like, fucking... (laughs) Half an hour to get back down in the truck. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it scared me. Her running all of a sudden. I thought she was walking with me. 
That door just opened by itself. Oh my god, where the fuck is that bitch at? <laughs> Better to at least just fix this TV or something like that. So, this is where she was? Yeah, makes sense. This is where Weaver and her parents lived. They took out a bunch of loans, you know, and had this place built. Do you have any debts? Definitely don't owe no apology, so I guess that I never really had any collateral. Something to be said for that, I guess. My parents were like that until the company store found a way to get to them. For my dad, it was tokens to run the fans and air purifiers, and for my mom, it was canaries. Two solutions to the same problem, but they sure sounded different. Weaver had debt, too. A lot of it. All tuition. Same. She said she was a mathematician or something? Yeah, she studied some esoteric stuff about something. About using math to translate between Spanish and English or something. Hmm. I think eventually Weaver put those math skills to work on all the red numbers in the family checkbook and got a clear sense of just how hopeless their situation was. So she left. Guess she just drove away in the middle of the night. They woke up in the morning and the car was gone. Never came back. Um, yes she did. She's here. Or she was. Oh, until, until tonight. Mm hmm. Until tonight. She seemed really focused on that old TV. Ugh, that's not something you see every day. That old TV right there. Well, that is a damn antique for you. I had a model like that in the shop once, but I had to sell it off to make rent. The most painful decision I ever made. Say, do you mind if I open it up? Looks like the dials are all corroded and the screen is leaking light a bit. Come on, I bet Lisette, Lisette would never forgive you for letting a specimen like that fall into disrepair. Well, that's pretty much why I wanted you to come here, because I think... How is Route Zero so hard to find? Like, it should just be like, oh. I don't know. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. These tubes are all messed up. Look like they've been in a swamp or cave or something. There's moss growing on this one. That's okay. I, I have a few spares in my bag here. Here, I pulled this one out of an old computer monitor. Just needs to be recalibrated a bit. Okay. That oughta... Should be seeing something now. Are you seeing anything? I'm going to say a little bit to the left just because, like, why the hell would he know a little bit to the left? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, here, I, th I think the contacts are dirty. Now, don't go telling my customers I clean off old vacuum tubes with spit. That would be embarrassing. There. Just got to turn it north south north south. <laughs> I can't read. It's confusing because north and south are different things, so my brain was just like, no, no. No. <laughs> You're a dork. Look at them little it's ponies. Little bitches. <laughs> Those are my little ponies. Wait, what is that truck doing? Isn't that our truck? Uh, excuse me, did someone just steal our shit? No, we're watching TV. Oh. Just maybe. I thought that went out the window and not into the TV. Shut up. This is a very mysterious game, okay? Kind of like the continuum transfer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Kind of like the continuum transfunctioner. <laughs> exactly. Oh. End of Act 1. Oh, shit. Well, I guess if that's in Act 1, that's the end of this episode. Oh, shit. Seems, seems legit. All right, then. All right. Uh, <laughs> my brain froze. Anyway, 
drop us a like. Let us know if you want to see some more of this. We're probably going to be playing it anyway, so it's just kind of a matter of if y'all want us to record some more of this and stick it on on the old channel. Uh, like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. We would love that and appreciate that. And uh, <laughs> see you in the next video. Bye.